going on, fellas? Well, as you guys can see, we are replacing the little mirror on the top. It's real easy. It's not. It's not hard to do. Uh, let me show you guys how it's done. You're gonna need one of these. Harbor Freight T20, and you might need you might need some needle noses, might. But I mean, I would get them just in case. So all you have to do is shucks, it's way too big, ain't it? So all you gotta do is take out this top mirror, which is this one right here. Right, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick this little lever up. Holy crap, why is it so? so you're gonna pick this le little lever up and then you're gonna take the top mirror off. And then you're gonna take off these four screws. This one, this one, and this one, and this one. Once you take them off, this back part, all this right here will come off and you'll have access to the back. Uh, let me show you guys. So the new mirror, I mean, it's gonna have this. This one's already broken. And then you're gonna have this. Now there's some grooves right there which these should go into. That's how you're gonna install the mirror, just like that. So if you guys can see the grooves right there, and then these right here have to marry into that, okay? Once you put it in there, this right here, you gotta pull with your needle noses, pull it, and then turn to the right and it locks in back there. I should have did it when, when this was off, but <sighs> it's like a 15 minute job. And then you just put your mirror back and then pull down on the lever. As soon as it fits in, let me see. Not giving you guys a very good view but yeah easy job you just fit it in there and then just pull down on this level right here and it locks in all right so not a hard job anybody can do it let me finish this up and i'll show you guys what it looks like out